Yes, Maybe. Sanford, tell me about what we don't know and you know. Well, what we don't know is what is the background and the hidden aspects of what Putin is all about. Nobody really has heard of or understands something called the Dostoevsky or Dostoevsky syndrome. This is, goes back to Dostoevsky. And it's the belief in terms of retribution and how it happens using the Russian Orthodox Church. And the sad part of what's going on in Russia today is the Russian Orthodox Church is a political power. And they have not done anything in terms of you know, admonishing the Russians for their role in the Ukraine. Is this sad? Oh, it's terribly sad. But you know that in 2018, uh, Ukraine Orthodox Church separated from Russians and they came under the one in Istanbul, Patriarch, Orthodox Patriarch of Fener. Yes, but the, the current Archbishop of Moscow, his name is Kril, and Kril was um, um, indicted for doing a $1.5 billion dollar scam fraud with uh, cigarettes, importing cigarettes into Russia. He also is an ex-KGB guy. Now this is all a matter of public record. So it's nothing to describe, but who does he advise spiritually? Putin. He's Putin's man in Moscow, religious man in Moscow. So you mean that Orthodox Church in Moscow has some role to play already in Without Ukraine? question. They're Even encouraging Putin to do what he did. Without question. And what they haven't done is instead of coming out against what Putin has been doing, they have said, you know, it's protecting Mother Russia. In other words, absolutely the opposite of what's really going on. And the idea is that from the Orthodox Church, they're acting for Russia. Well, they're not acting for Russia. They're acting for Vladimir Putin. I see. What do you expect to emerge from the summit on Thursday of NATO leaders in Brussels? I'm, Do you think there is going to be something fundamental that... I hope there is. I hope that they they take a risk. In other words, they say, they call the bluff. In other words, yes, there's a big risk of nuclear, and yes, there are all these things, but I can assure you that if they don't stop Putin today, it'll be very similar to what Cher Chamberlain did in his deal with Mussolini, and in also... In 1938. In 1938, exactly right. Well, Mussolini before that. It's very interesting that he, Chamberlain, listened to his uh, sister-in-law who told him that Mussolini was really a nice guy. And all he wanted was Abyssinia, which is Ethiopia. And but, they wanted official recognition of that. It's a small thing. But it's going to be a total mess if China also gets into picture as an active player rather than watching on the sidelines as it does right now. Russia's too, uh, 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 Russia wants that, but China is too smart. In other words, China has a long-term plan. That long-term plan means a lot of trade, and they're not going to cut off their nose despite their face. Peaceful rise to 19, to 2049. Sure. So you think that China will continue prudently and will try to even moderate Without Putin? question. Mm -hmm. And they're seeing, you're seeing that now is that the Chinese are now sending uh, uh, humanitarian humanitarian goods and medical supplies to the Ukraine. I see. Well, tell us something unknown to the common people about London. Uncommon about this... London? Oh, gosh. Temperature, start with that. What's happening here? Is it climate change? Well, no, what's happening here, degrees. what's frightening here... Well, it's minus is... two in Ankara. No, what's frightening here is not the weather, it's it's the Prime Minister who uh, linked Brexit with the Ukraine. And it was well, absolutely I'm outrageous. sorry, but I can't let you t say anything against him. He is 25% Turk, as you know. <laughs> well, he may be 25%, but at the 75% I'm criticizing means a little bit more than just that. And it's a sad story because he's always been exactly the same. And why the public can't figure it out, I have no idea. Thank you. I think it's enough for today. We'll have more sessions to come. Excellent.